You are watching Jancy's Corner. Okay guys, so today I am going to review this piano keyboard stand. So what is good for this product is it has a adjustable height and it suits most of the keyboards so no matter what keyboard you have this could be a right uh, stand. So it's a little bit tight and stuffed inside, so you just need an extra force to bring it out. Actually this is a replacement item because the first one uh, we bought it back because the height of the bars are uneven. They are not on the same length and when you place the keyboard the left side is lower than the right side so I said that we definitely need to change it and so we did. As the tape always make sure the length are the same. Always read the instruction and manual to give you some tips and at the same time to check if the contents is complete. So you will notice there is a lock here, mechanism, so all you need to do is press it, in. press it upward and then you can adjust, okay, you press it up and then you will see, wait down. You will see that the metal stopper will lock onto the wheel. Now let's assemble the other parts. So it doesn't matter whether you start it on the top or the bottom part of the legs. Tracy is very keen to help so I let him assemble some of the parts and we use the hexagonal screwdriver provided and he did pretty well. Thankfully the bottom part is done and now we are going to do the upper part. Now let's turn it upside down. This round bar is the one on the top you will know because of the rubber holder. Uh, this will be attached to the piano so you know that it is the one that you're gonna use the assembly is just the same as the bottom it has one screw to fix this long screw is the one that you're going to attach at the back of the cable and secure it and this will help the keyboard from falling. We got a new keyboard as well, and this is a present of Tita Bing Bing, Tito Paolo, Zach, and Sean for Chase's birthday. We are also going to make a separate video for review and features of this product, so just click the top right corner for that. You can also check the link in the description box below uh, about the video. Let's put the battery in the compartment and it is secured by a screw so you just need to remove it. It needs 6 AA batteries. Just put back the cover and screw it again to secure the batteries. The 
The other option to power this keyboard is through the cord provided. All you need to do is connect it with the port at the back and then you can just put the socket into the power supply. Now let's put the keyboard on the stand and align them equally. Don't forget to secure the keyboard to the stand using the rubber band in the big screw. And make sure you tighten it very well. And do the same on the other side. Now you can enjoy playing your electric piano using this keyboard stand. So what I need to do is just start using this one. Okay? So Thanks for watching guys, hope you find this video helpful and please don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. Also visit us at www.jnccorner.com. See you again next time, bye!